Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another Shea video. It's uh, Wednesday today, Wednesday the, what is it, the 20th of September, and it's, well, it's a mild spring day in, in the low teens it's going to get to today, which is a bit of a change from the tw low 20s we had um, over the last week. Uh, still nice weather. Okay, what are we using? Well, we're going with Stuka Australia. Shave soap, this is a, a puck. Comes in a puck, like that, hard puck. Except I can't get it out. And um, this is the rose geranium and rosewood scent. It's quite nice. It, it's not a rose overbearing rose. Um, and it's got a little bit of wood, background wood scent. Very nice scent. I like this one. Uh, I'll just put that aside. I'll, I'll just leave the ingredient list and there is no real scent profile. Like he just uses essential oils. Um, and the brush, brush of course, we're going with the Billy Goat brush called Valencia. Wonderful handle. Love the shape of the handle. This is this is my favourite shape for a handle. This sort of classic rubber set style shape. And in there I've got a mother load knot, 26mm, which is a very soft plush knot, virtually no backbone. So we'll just stick that in my mug um, to get wet. And the razor we're going with, there's another new one in the den. This is my Yaki Stainless Steel uh, Tashi Single Edge Razor. It takes DE blades, oh, half DE blades. And we're going to put one of these Lord, uh, what do you got, Saloon super stainless blades in there for my first shave it's like the Cantana but in stainless steel but not exactly the same it's a um, slightly different design so we'll see how that goes and the bowl we're going to use is of course our whispers from the woods bowl and I'll go ahead and put my pre-shave on and we'll get started. The pre-shave we're going to use is um, the Natio Smooth Shave Gel. I'll do that now and then I'll go and do the overhead cam for the leather build. Hi there at Leather Cam here. Before we get started with the leather build, we'll just show you a bit more about this new Tashi razor. As you can see, it's a nice looking razor. And you see how it, it clamps down right to the edge of the blade. So uh, you shouldn't get too much chatter. All right, let's put the blade in. And on here, on this razor, I've got the um, aluminium uh, razo handle. Very nice underneath. It's machined rather than polished, although the bottom plate's fully polished all around. So we'll get the Lord Blade, the uh, little two, uh, not toothpaste, um, chewing gum type wrapper. And it's got a couple of little liner pins here. So it just sits on them. Yep. And we just 
drop the top plate over the top and it's very nicely aligned we'll just find the there it is <laughs> little washer that I use it's got a nice long thread on it which, would, which I like especially when I've got an aluminium handle and that's it looks perfectly aligned to me and looks like about one millimetre blade gap blade gap sorry all right put that aside get our bowl with the soap in it now I've got about one gram of soap squashed in the bottom there the soap is even though it's hard it's not triple milled so it's easy enough to um, to just scrape a bit off and squeeze down so we'll just get started as we normally do with the squeezed out brush Hi, we're back. Beautiful, look at that. Wonderful rose. I smell a bit of geranium as well. And a bit of wood. Not a lot of wood though. Beautiful. Okay, let's re-wet the face. and get started. Touch your alum on the fingers. Oh, there's a plush knot. If you like um, soft knots, you should give the mother load a try. It's really plush. I'm pretty happy with that leather. All right, first time use of this razor. Let's see how we go. Oh, here's a bit of blade feel. Very similar to the Razo.
Yes, I feel a bit of blade. Yeah, quite a bit of blade exposure there. in any case. <laughs> lovely. And off the soap, uh, lovely rose geranium scent. So if you're not into florals, don't get this one. I call it mm, 5, 6 out of 10 on the scent strength. Okay, across the green. I'm feeling a lot of blade exposure. So I'm going to have to be very careful, maybe shave more towards the cap Water blade. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. Very nice. Very efficient though. I'll just check the blade sitting and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, the blade's seated correctly. It's just uh, lots of exposure. Okay. Plenty of slickness on the soap. for the last pass or third pass. Don't think I'll need much pickups.
Okay, against the grain. Well, if you like a bit of blade exposure, or quite a bit, <laughs> this is your, this is your baby. And yeah, come very carefully, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not a razor I can muck around with. I don't think I'll do it against the grain on the moustache, let's do uh, across the opposite direction. It's a lot of blame. Now do no blood. Well that's pretty good. I don't see any weepers. I'll just do uh, a sh Pass underneath the the jawline there. And that'll do. I'm not gonna do any buffering as such. It's not the smoothest to uh, use uh, with a, such a large amount of blade exposure. Okay, so I rinse 
switch that off and that down. I don't see any damage. Let's check with the arm. Um, put my book. Just a few tingles around, so I did a good job. Despite the large blade exposure. Well, for me, it's large. It's certainly more um, aggressive than the Rezo. So I concerned, but I did a good job. I'll just put that aside. Boots off the owl. Yep, no weeps. Pretty good. Happy with that. And no irritation, just a touch on that side there, but nothing more than one. And as usual, I've got lots of leather left over. One gram is more than enough. Nice looking leather, we'll put that on my face and go and have a shower. Come back for the post shave. That was a wonderful shave. Very close. BBS on the cheeks and most of the face, just a little bit around the bottom, around the bottom of the neck. Uh, not BBS, but yeah, very close shave. Very efficient razor, which is what I expect from that. <laughs> A large amount of blade feel I got. Alright, let's get into the post shave. Starting off with the bit of Imperial Bergamot. Menthol crystals. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I'm not feeling any irritation. So I did a good job. I might try the Wismet blade on the next shave. The uh, Lord blade didn't feel that smooth. All right. Uh, and then we'll go with the Natio aftershave balm. Shake. Don't need much. Actually, I've probably got too much. Put it around the face. Head, hair. Actually, I need a haircut. This warmer weather coming up. the classic uh, old spice Oop. bit too much nice scent feels a, smells a bit synthetic though Okay, that's my shave today. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on my next shave. Cheers.